introduction of Boston point cloud geometry compression we are end to end learning. My name is Wang Jianqiang. I'm a student from Nanjing University. I'm supervised by Professor Ma Zhan. Today, I'm very glad to introduce our work. Firstly, I will introduce some background of PCC. Point cloud is a collection of points in 3D space. Each point has its geometric position and associated attribute. Point cloud can be used to represent 3D objects and scenes. Recently, with the growth of emerging applications of point cloud, such as immersive media and autonomous driving, high efficiency PCC technologies are highly deserved. On the other hand, PC has huge amount of data and the points are all ordered and unstructured, which is very difficult to process and compress. So we really demand efficient PCC methods. Existing representative PCC methods were developed by MPEG, including geometry-based PCC and video-based PCC. GPCC relies on 3D geometry models, such as auxiliary models and surface models, while VPCC relies on 2D video coding. In the octane geometry codec, PC is represented by octane decomposition in 3D space and its occupancy information are encoded. In the tree sub geometry codec, PC is represented as a series of triangle meshes where mesh vertices are encoded. Different from GPCC, VPCC projects 3D objects into different 2D planes and leverages image codec to comprise them. By far, VPCC has accepted the state-of-the-art coding efficiency for dense point cloud. All these methods are based on traditional compression technologies. Recently, inspired by learned image compression, many works have tried to apply learned compression technologies in point cloud. They are based on popular autoencoder structure with 3D scene or point light for compression, and our work achieves the state-of-the-art performance. This is a general framework of the proposed learned PCGC. It contains three modules, a pre-processing step, an end-to-end learned compression network, and a post-processing step. In pre-processing, raw point cloud is voxelized to volumetric model and partitioned to small cubes. In compression network, the volumetric model is encoded and decoded by a 3D scene based variational autoencoder. In post processing, decoded volumetric model will be converted to point cloud through classification and extraction. Next, I will introduce the details of each module. In pre processing, the voxelation converts point cloud geometry to binary occupancy map, which is structured representation and is suitable to open 3D scenes for processing. Then we partition the entire point cloud into non-overlap cubes. By this way, we can reduce redundancy in empty volume and achieve the pairing cube processing to reduce memory and runtime cost. We also propose the scaling to downsample the PC by multiply it with the scaling factor. By this way, we can reduce the sparsity or directly reduce the amount of data to achieve better compression. The detail of the compression network is shown in the finger. The encoder and decoder transforms are based on stacked 3D scenes. We design a deep network with exception residual network blocks as basic unit. By this way, it can better explore the correlation across voxels. Then the latent representation learned from the autoencoder will be quantized and entropy encoded. To achieve more accurate bitrate estimation, we use the entropy model with hyperprioreals. As shown in the finger below, the hyperprioreal is learned from a hyperautoencoder. Finally, the compression network is trained end to end using a classification based loss measurement. Because the occupied voxels are very few, we apply a weighted PC loss for training. For the decoded volumetric model from the decoder network, we need to classify and extract the points. The classification is to determine whether the voxel is occupied. 
we propose binary classification based on adaptive thresholding. By this method, we don't set a fixed threshold, but set the threshold according to the number of occupied voxels in origin point cloud. Specifically, we source the voxel values and select the top key voxels, where k equals to the number of times a parent row in default row equals 1. After classification, the points will be extracted from the cube and be inverse scaled. Next, I will introduce the ablation studies to examine various aspects to demonstrate the purpose method. Firstly, in probe processing, the partition can reduce the memory and runtime cost for each cube, and according to our study, the optimal cube size is 64. And the scaling can preserve quality at a low bit rate, as shown in the left RD curves. What's more, for a point cloud with relatively lower density, scaling can make the points denser and make our method achieve better compression, as shown in the right RD curves. For the compression network, our experiments have also revealed that our deep network offers much better performance than a shadow network, achieves 45% BD rate gains, and the hyper priorities can improve the context modeling and further yielding additional 15% BD rate gains. For the post processing, we find that the proposed adaptive threshold in classification can lead to more than 50% BD rate gains, and further fine tuning the threshold can perform much better at low bit rates. This is the experimental results. We trained on ShipNet and tested on three different data sites to evaluate the performance. We compare our method with PCC, PCL, GPCC, and VPCC. The objective comparison is evaluated using the BD rate with D1 and D2 distance based vertex, as shown in the table. We exceed GPCC and PCWL with a significant margin. For example, we achieve more than 60% bit rate gains against GPCC. We can also get similar performance to VPCC as shown in the RD curves. This is the realization of decoded point codes of different methods. We can observe that our method preserve the detail and generate really high quality point codes than other methods. Recently, we have updated the learned PCGC and proposed a better method called multi-skill PCGC, which has been accepted by Deep Compression Conference. We make two important improvements to in the updated approach. Firstly, the point code is represented by sparse sensor not redundant to match model, and the dense convolution is replaced by smart convolution. Then we can only process the unoccupied voxels, which is more efficient. Secondly, the single scale reconstruction is updated to multi scale reconstruction, which further improves the efficiency. The new method achieves better performance than learned PCGC and achieves more than 30% bit rate improvement, and it outperforms the state of the art VPCC, achieves more than 40% bit rate gains. More importantly, the new method requires less memory and runtime than LAN PCGC. In the last, I like to summarize our contribution and the feature works. We de developed a novel learn learning based framework for PCGC. It contains a pre-processing module for oxidation and partition, a deep compression network with hyper priorities for encoding and decoding, and a post-processing module for classification and reconstruction. The purpose method exceeds GPCC with a significant margin, for example, more than 60% bit rate steering. And we further improved the learned PCGC through sparse convolution and multi-scale mechanism, which achieves more than 40% bit rate gains against VPCC. In the future, we will further reduce the com complexity and extend this work to include the color attribute and sparse point codes.
He says we will use quality measures that better ma better match subjective perception. That's all. Thank you for your attention. More detail can be seen on our homepage on GitHub. Thank you.